when I was 10 years old. We were traveling up for a uh, summer holiday up to northern Pennsylvania and uh, we were going to visit my, uh, my two maiden aunts who lived in this town in, in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. And uh, we were going down their street and although it was an old, relatively old street, all of the houses on it looked the same. And I, and I can remember this clear as day. And I said to my mother, when I grow up, I'm going to be an architect so that people won't have to all live in houses that look alike. Well, I thought, it's so boring. Everybody should have an interesting house, a different one, you know, a little bit different than their neighbors. There are a variety of ways to make those chairs that I've done over the years. Right shortly after this is off the wheel, it's still very damp, I'll go in here with my finger and go, choo and pull it like that and mm -hmm. make that kind of and it's a totally different thing than if I left that rim just round. These cases like this one and this one and yep. that one down there I'll hit them with a with a stick a piece of one by two or, or mm -hmm. half inch and snap it at that rim just oh anytime half an hour after I make it. In this case that whole piece came out with it. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, that's good, I thought. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in this case, it just, you can see where the stick hit, and it just, but I snapped it off quickly and didn't, you know, just barely flicked it at it and it pulled it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's quite wonderful. Over here it didn't. It was probably getting too hard when I did it, and it just brought a chunk of it sort of out. When I take this hunk of wood and swat it out of pot, I not a lot of control. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes, but sometimes the whole thing comes off. You know, <laughs> right. you end up with this the stick with this slab of clay hooked on. But that's just wonderful in there. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah, and and yet it grew out of this. Uh -huh. or, uh -huh. And they come, they come out in different ways, you know. This one's different, and oh yeah. And this one different. A piece came out with this one too, but uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. And they would be so different if that was all just lying down flat. I mean, the difference between this and that mm -hmm. is uh, is quite dramatic. One piece over there. It's an old piece, it has oh, yeah. a piece of wood across it. Mm -hmm. But I'm using wood on the top of pieces like that. Yep. And then as handles sometimes on pieces. Yep. And then I decided I'll make something that looks like just out of a slab of rolled up clay. But it, it looks like wood, looks but like it's actually clay. clay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks like a stick. And you have a sort of a variation on a well, handle that thing, or you something. Go, now this grew that's up. That's metal, is it? Yeah, that's a copper pipe, and okay. I've uh, done a series of, over the years, I've done a series using copper pipes, and of that basic form, that's the last one that, that I have, but they grew out of work that began in the late 70s of using, pushing broken pieces of one by twos through a pot, and, mm -hmm. uh, and, or pushing them down into a pot from the top and distorting the shape dramatically, distorting the shape. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or just jamming one through and pushing a hole out the side from the inside with a stick so you get this irregular tear, explosive looking thing. Mm -hmm. Then this began to result out of that, out of those pieces where sticks were and uh, copper tubes and more refined shapes were replacing the sticks and torn surfaces and so forth. Mm -hmm. This is an accident, this decoration. Mm -hmm. Just the other day. Mm -hmm. And I did it on a, that little small piece. This little one over here happened because I had made a mistake on it. And uh, and so, oh, I thought, oh. well, then I fired it, and I said, holy God, that's interesting. <laughs> so then I tried to repeat it on that one, 
Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't repeat it, but something pretty interesting happened there as well. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll try it again. So doing the same process, but in this case, when I got to putting this layer of stuff on, I put a piece of masking tape, cut strips of masking tape down, mm -hmm. and then painted all this stuff on, which is just salt and water and some copper nitrate, some copper fertilizer stuff actually. <laughs> and uh, and look at this, and it's different. Than, you know, why didn't the surface go like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's almost you know like a. I mean that's that's akin to the breaks in the. Yes. In the other ones. This side got a little too dark for me, but I was using a knife, a knife to decorate with before also in back uh, 10 years ago or less mm. sticks jagged sticks and even knife flick a knife up the side of a piece and mm -hmm. this piece belonged to Mitterrand I guess it belongs to the prime minister probably belongs in the Champs Elysees or the palace yeah. uh, very nice yeah government bought it for him for Francois Mitterrand. Francois Mitterrand.